Hi and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you how to uh, implement the Valmoral in RStudio. So Valmoral is uh, one of a uh, statistical method that is used in order to model uh, variables, especially to set up the relationship between two or more than two variables. So uh, to uh, run a bar model in uh, and as well as vector error correction model in as you do, we need uh, two important packages that are uh, T series, which is a package that is used to uh, if you are going to test for uh, unit of course, unit of test is very important in Babel because uh, the stationary of Babel are required is required to uh, to run Babel. So the second package that uh, you need to have installed in your R Studio is uh, Bars. Bars is a package that's used in bar modeling as well as vector error correction. So, uh, to run your bar model, first of all, you need to uh, set up uh, your uh, data, data frame. I have, uh, for example, in my database, three variables beta 0, beta 1, and beta 3 that I'm going to model using. Bar, bar process. So the first step is to, uh, to define my data set. Uh, that is uh, a, a, a matrix of variable that are going to be used in my uh, in my bar, bar model. So to set up my uh, data frame, I will define my uh, data frame as beta. Uh, I will define my data frame as beta. So I will write here. Uh, beta equal uh, cbin cbin so use the command cbin to uh, concatenate concatenate my uh, three uh, variable that are uh, beta 0 beta 1 and at last uh, beta uh, 2 and click on ok you see that my uh, data set beta is being set set to uh, to run my uh, my bar model. So uh, the first step in my model modeling process is to run uh, unit proof test. So the unit proof test I will run is uh, augmented careful test that is. Uh, you can also use Philippe Perron or KPSS test. We just focus here on uh, augmented TK Fuller test using the command ATF.test bracket uh, beta 0, beta 0, my variable beta 0, and then click on run. I will see that uh, the result of our, our augmented TK Fuller test for beta 0 is set. The p value is equal to 0 0.01. Uh, which is uh, significant, uh, so that we can say that our variable will reject the null hypothesis of unit proof in our TK Fuller test, meaning that our variable is not uh, does not have unit rules, so it uh, it is uh, stationary. My variable beta zero is uh, stationary. You can also check it for beta one and beta two in order to, uh, to run your uh, unit proof test. So uh, the second step in our modeling after running uh, our uh, unit proof test is to uh, run our bar model. So the command to run our bar model is to uh, define, uh, use the command var.n uh, Affectation symbol, uh, the command bar uh, bracket. Uh, here is a, a, a data frame that has been defined uh, to run our bar model. Uh, that, that data frame contains the different variables that are going to be used in our bar process. So the three variables are beta 0, beta 1, and beta 2 that are, are going to be used to. Uh, set up the relationship. So we have uh, the number of labs that is uh, be, that is going to be uh, uh, 
put in our bar model. I choose for now the uh, one lock process. Uh, you can uh, also use the type uh, constant in order to uh, tell R uh, that uh, in our model the constant uh, should be taken into consideration. We have uh, say the seasonality uh, which says to be null. Suppose that in our survey there is not uh, a matter of seasonality. We have, you can also uh, use exhaustion uh, command to say that uh, there is not nor for not exogenous uh, uh, variable. We have uh, maximum lag is null because we already use our uh, uh, set lag to be one. We have uh, uh, a key criteria that is been uh, going to be used. You can, you can also use uh, Schwarz or even uh, an unwin criteria in order to, uh, to set up your uh, run your bound. So we'll uh, then click on run and you can see that the result of our of your bar model is being uh, computed. So to, uh, to call our bar model, I should I will just uh, use the command bar dot m and then click on OK and the result of our bar model is uh, appearing right now. You can see uh, all three relationships that link our uh, three variables. We have, uh, first of all, the relationship that link beta zero um, uh, with uh, lag one beta zero, with uh, lag one beta one, as well as lag one uh, beta uh, two, plus the constant. So we have uh, uh, that coefficient that, ha that ha have been uh, estimated here. We also have uh, the coefficient for the uh, uh, beta one uh, relating to uh, that, that show the relationship between uh, beta one which and uh, beta zero lab one, beta one lab uh, one, as well as beta two lab one. All, uh, uh, different relationships. So, uh, as interpretation of a coefficient, that means that uh, uh, lap one uh, an increase in uh, beta zero. Uh, so, if you take, for example, the first equation, that is the relationship between uh, beta zero and uh, lap one of uh, each of uh, other variable, including uh, beta zero. You can say that uh, as the coefficient of lag one beta zero is negative, it means that an increase in uh, a value of beta zero will uh, certainly lead to the decrease at the uh, next period of uh, uh, for the variable uh, beta one. So the coefficient of uh, the impact of beta one lag uh, is uh, uh, plus is positive meaning that an increase in uh, beta 1 will uh, certainly or um, probably lead to an increase in beta 0 uh, uh, variable in the next uh, in the next period of time. So we can have the uh, interpretation uh, that uh, for beta 2 that have negative impact on our uh, beta 0 variable. So we can also have uh, all these uh, those interpretation for uh, the different equation. So the uh, last step uh, for this uh, tutorial is to show you how to uh, to predict to uh, forecast uh, using our bar model. So it's very simple. You just use the command uh, beta. Uh, so my variable that uh, the prediction of my uh, data set beta will be called. Uh, I call it beta predict that is equal to uh, the command that you predict so uh, the first argument of our of uh, the pre of our prediction uh, code is to uh, show the, uh, the name of the, to call our var model that uh, we have called previously var dot m uh, comma uh, another argument is argument is uh, number of period in which we are going to Focus our 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 data set beta zero beta one and beta uh, two. We uh, chose for uh, twelve period. So
So we have a uh, monthly data. We make a prevision over a year. We have also a confidence uh, interval uh, threshold, confidence interval level, which is 95%. We also have a defined dummy uh, say that there is no dummy that is going to be used in order to, uh, to predict our model. So then uh, we will run the command and we can see that uh, our variable will uh, show uh, uh, the different result if we type in our command console uh, beta predict. Beta predict and then click on OK. You will see that our different uh, prediction, our different forecast of different uh, components of our bar model have been made. We have, for example, uh, beta zero that have a uh, uh, forecast for the next year, is for the next month, is uh, at 0 0.00, 0 0.07744. We have the uh, Second month, we have the prediction, we have the forecast for the next 12 months that are here with uh, confident and interval that uh, have the lower and the upper value. So, the lower value, for example, at first year uh, forecast for beta 0 is uh, negative 1.14, and the upper value is 1.30. We have uh, the interval uh, confident interval length. That is, uh, that is here. So we have the forecast value for beta 0, also the same thing for beta 1, forecast for the next 12 year. We have also have forecast for the next 12 year for beta 2. So uh, we hope this video has uh, been very useful to help you understand how to, uh, how to run uh, uh, model in, uh, in our studio and if you are not uh, yet uh, you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel do subscribe in order not to lose uh, the next uh, videos on uh, different uh, techniques on uh, statistical model for social sciences